Hi, I'm Julio Friedman, and I know stuff about carbon capture. Today, we emit carbon dioxide from a bunch of sources, from cars, from power plants, from refineries, from steel mills, and all of that goes up into the air, and that warms the atmosphere. Nobody really debates that. The question is, what do you do? And one of the things you can do is to not emit that carbon. One of the things you can do is to capture it through some chemical or physical process, right where it emits. And then you can concentrate that and put it back deep in the earth where it originally came from. The other thing that you can do is you can convert CO2 to stuff. And in fact, that's a very useful thing to do. That's the essence of carbon capture. Anybody who does the climate math knows we're not going to hit the climate targets. We really need everything. We need efficiency, we need renewables, we need nuclear, but even then, we're not out of the woods. We need carbon capture too. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, says that if we don't have carbon capture, we won't actually hit our climate targets. Seven of the 11 economic models they run can't get there without CCS. And those few models that do give us a solution say that if we don't have CCS, it'll cost us more than twice as much. The best studies and the best estimates suggest that something on the order of 15 to 20 percent of global emissions are going to be handled by CCS. For a bunch of emission sources, carbon capture is the only thing we know how to do. And part of the reason why is the industrial sector. We just don't know how to decarbonize that any other way. We don't know how to make a renewable steel mill. We don't know how to make a renewable petrochemical refinery. We are already building natural gas power plants that are going to run for decades, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. If we don't get those carbon emissions now, we're not going to hit our goals. The International Energy Agency has put carbon capture on the front burner. And so has the World Energy Council. And so has the World Economic Forum. A lot of environmental groups like Environmental Defense Fund and Natural Resource Defense Council have been strong passionate advocates for carbon capture for years. Carbon capture is one of the few things we can do that's fast and actionable and helps us reach our Paris goals. It's either deployed and we've saved the planet or it's not deployed and we didn't.